Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Eleni. If you're new here, I'm a second year dental student and welcome to another dental school vlog. I am starting a new set of classes this week. This morning I have ortho at 9. I woke up kind of early around 6.30 so I could get a run in before class. So I already did my run and I showered and everything. So now I have class at 9 a.m. And so basically, we are starting a new set of classes. Last week and the week before that, we started out with Introduction to Clinical Protocol. So we had the quiz on Friday to finish up that small introduction to the course, which will continue in November and in the spring. We have a new schedule of classes starting with ortho today, and then we're also gonna have endocrine and reproduction. We're going to have radiology and we're also going to have oral pathology. So it's going to be exciting starting all these new classes. It's definitely going to be more intense starting this week. So I'm excited to get back into it, really having to, you know, buckle down and start studying a lot. So it should be a good week and I'm excited. So yeah, let's get into this week's vlog. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished ortho. We had it from 9 to 12 and well, this class is supposed to be taught at the end of second year and because of COVID, they pushed it up to now at the beginning of second year. So basically, ortho is supposed to be taught after you've had, you've learned occlusion, you've learned fixed pros and a bunch of other classes that we haven't gotten to yet so basically the professor was like i don't know what to do for you guys because there's a lot of things that we don't know that we should know for ortho so it's gonna be a tough class and he's gonna probably have to make a couple of modifications for us and teach us like a couple of more basic things that he normally wouldn't teach so it's gonna be interesting but this first intro class was interesting. I do kind of like the topic and because ortho kind of talks about your appearance and how your teeth affects your face and how like your structure and your skeleton can affect like your cheeks and your chin and the tissues that are above the teeth. So it's really interesting to think about and I think ortho is an interesting subject. I don't think I'm going to go into orthodontics, but it's definitely interesting and I think it'll be a really good course. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but now I think I'm going to rewrite my dental anatomy notes because ortho, he was talking a lot about like the numbering of the teeth and a lot of things that we learned in dental anatomy. And I did want to rewrite those notes for you guys on my iPad so that I can upload them onto my website so I think I'm gonna sit down now and rewrite those dental notes just to like help you guys and then also help myself by reviewing all the dental notes so I think I'm gonna do that now and then maybe after that I'll go into go back to ortho and write notes for the first for this first lecture that we had today but yeah so ortho was definitely interesting as in the topic and the fact that we haven't gone over a lot of things that we're supposed to know for ortho so we'll see how it goes but yeah i think it's going to be a good subject and a good topic to learn so i'm excited for that but yeah so i'm going to work on my dental anatomy notes now hopefully i'll get out that out to you guys sometime this week and i'll let you guys know but yeah i'm going to go work on that now
Hey guys, it's Tuesday now. It is August 11th. I had oral pathology this morning from 10 to 12 and now I think I'm going to work on my notes for that lecture and maybe notes from the lecture from yesterday. And yesterday, last night, I went to Southie with my boyfriend and he went swimming um, at the beach in South Boston and I went with him and I went paddle boarding with my friend and then we had dinner on the beach which was really nice so that was my night last night and then I came back home so I could be ready for class this morning so yeah I had oral pathology this morning which was pretty interesting it was basically just an intro to the class and he just talked about some of the basics like the nomenclature that we're going to be using talk about different colors what different lesions are common stuff like that so it was an interesting class so i'm excited for that and yeah i'm going to be working on some notes right now kind of just stay on top of things make sure i don't fall behind with the material because it is going to be a lot and it is going to kind of build up on us quickly so I wanted to get a jump on it and I'm going to start my notes for it now so that's what I'm going to work on today and probably into the night as well. Wednesday now I have class at 11 and there are two lectures that I need to watch before the interactive class that we have at 11 so that's what I'm working on now so today we have endocrine and there's two videos that we need to watch beforehand so that we're prepared for the interactive class so that's what I'm gonna do now and I meant to wake up early this morning so I could go run before class, but I fell back asleep and I was like, it's okay. And I told myself it was fine and I'll just run this afternoon. The good thing about quarantine is that you can make your own schedule. And I kind of like it because if I don't want to wake up early, I don't have to. And I can work out whenever I want. So I guess that's the good thing about all of this and being online is I can make my own schedule and if I want to sleep in I can sleep a little bit later so that's kind of nice but I am working on waking up earlier I want to do that I like being able to start my day super early I feel like it feels so good and productive waking up early so I'm working on it it didn't happen today but that's okay <laughs> hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be waking up early doing my morning workout before class and everything but yeah the good thing about all of this is that I can do it whenever I want so if I did want to do an afternoon workout I can and if I want to sleep in a little bit more I can do that too so I guess that's the good thing about all of this but now I'm going to work on the two lectures that I have to watch before my class at 11. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. I actually totally forgot I had an afternoon class and I went to Marshall's, but it's okay because it's recorded and it's fine. I typically like to be present if it's like a live Zoom class, but everything's recorded anyway, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys quickly what I did get. So I went to Marshall's and I wanted to get 
the Aztec Indian mud mask. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I've been hearing about it here and there and I did see it one time at the TJ Maxx in Boston. So I wanted to see if they had it in the Marshalls here in my town. They didn't have it. So then I actually went to CVS and they ended up having it. So this is what it looks like. So it says health and beauty Aztec secret Indian healing clay and it's the world's most powerful facial and it says deep pore cleansing 100% natural calcium bentonite clay so I, I was reading the instructions and basically you have to mix the clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water so you have to so I'm guessing it's just like the powder in here and you have to mix it with water to make it um, able to spread and then you're supposed to let it dry for five to ten minutes and then it says you'll feel your face pulse pulsate and I guess it's supposed to be like tightening and it's gonna pull on your face so I'm really excited to try this out I've heard some things about it so yeah it should be good and then I end up going to a different Marshalls because I wanted to get some shelves for my room so I found these cute shelves at another Marshalls near my house so I have two of these so I'll put them up above my bed and I'm gonna put like little flowers and stuff on top of it so I'm really excited to have that and put it up so yeah that's basically what I did when I was supposed to be in class but it's okay because I can just watch the recording so um, that was radiology that we had so I'm gonna have to watch the recording either tonight or maybe tomorrow but right now I have two more lectures that I need to watch that were for today and that would be the physiology part of endocrine so I already had the histology part so now I need to watch the two physiology lectures and I just want to show you guys quickly how I organize my PowerPoints on my computer I like to keep everything very organized so once I download the PowerPoints I put them into different files on my computer and then I number them by um, I number the lectures by when we have them so so basically I have here all my classes so I have ortho pathology endocrine radiology so then in endocrine I have lecture one lecture two lecture three and lecture four so that's basically what I do for every single class and that helps me keep everything organized and I know which lecture is when so that's how I like to organize everything and then after the class I upload all of my lectures and PowerPoints to box and then I delete the PowerPoints from my computer just to make some space so yeah that's how I organize everything on my computer and now I'm going to watch the endocrine physiology lectures that we're supposed to be watch today <laughs>
Hey guys, it's Friday now. I didn't vlog too much yesterday. I had Kyle over at my house and then we went to his apartment in South Boston. And then I got Phoebe, who is my friend's dog and I'm babysitting her for the weekend. So I've been busy with Phoebe and I took her this morning to Castle Island and we just walked around. So that was really fun. But now I'm back at my house and Phoebe's here with me. So I had, I didn't have any live classes today, which was good. There are just a couple of videos. What is it, Phoebe? There's just a couple of recorded videos that I need to watch for today. So I'll probably do that now, a little bit before I have dinner. And then I have a lot of work to do this weekend. There's Phoebe in the background. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do this weekend. I got kind of behind in my notes, so I'll probably try to catch up with all my notes this weekend. What is it, Phoebe? What is it? What is it? So I'll try and catch up with my notes this weekend. I think I'll end off my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below so that you guys don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.